Welcome back to Painting with Mike. I hope you're doing awesome wherever you are in this world. Let me go ahead and run the colors for today and explain what I got going on here. I do have a black canvas. It's a 24 by 30 inch canvas, so it is a, a bigger type of canvas. Uh, what I had it, went ahead and did is I put a clear medium on there. There's all different types of mediums out there. Uh, today I'm using Bob Ross. Usually I don't explain because I don't want to get hit with copyrights and you know, bottom line is that I'm paying for everything and I don't have, don't have a sponsor, so I don't want to get into trouble. So, but you can use whatever clear medium you have available. From here, about here up, I used the blue and I just went ahead and tinted, tinted that canvas with it for a very, very small amount. So, uh, clear medium on a black canvas and from here up, blue, okay? And this is the 50th painting that I've done on YouTube. So it's a little bit, a little bit bittersweet. I mean, I'm real proud. I went ahead and put out 50 videos, but unfortunately the channel, this particular channel, Painting with Mike has moved about, boop, about that much. So, but very, very proud. And I hope you enjoyed, hope you enjoyed the channel. And if this is your first time viewing, I hope you like the platform and thank you as always. And let's go ahead and pull out that brush. I'm gonna go into the titanium white. Remember, this is a black canvas, so your colors are gonna explode. You don't, you don't need a lot of a lot of paint, okay? Little, little by little, okay? And just go ahead and I mean you can just scrub some in like so, you can tap it in, whatever you like. Just get get that white on there, get those bristles. And remember, just feel good, slap some paint on there, and we're gonna make something wonderful. And today's painting that I'm gonna this one's for me. 50 paintings, this, this painting today, this one's for me, so I hope you like it, okay? And uh, let's go ahead and just start right here, okay? So I went ahead and put that blue on. So once you start touching it with the white, it's gonna, it's gonna start exploding, okay? And I'm just doing the, just crisscrosses right now. I mean, you can, you can do however you want. You don't have to always do the X's. You can just swirl it or whatever you like. Okay. But I thought today we would do a, a, a basically a mountain paint on a black, black canvas. So hopefully it comes out really sweet for you. And there you go. So remember, a little at a time, a little at a time, and just keep working it. Working it on out, okay? Working it on out. No. Add some more. There we go. And then, there you go. Just work it, work it on out. Feel good. Feel good about yourself. And this is that time you, you push the canvas in, or push the paint into the canvas. Okay, and this is the time you want to feel strong. That's why I like my easel. It keeps the canvas nice and firm. You know, it does sway a little bit, like so, but it just keeps everything where it needs to be. And if you're struggling with your easel and it's bouncing, you're gonna to have to anchor it down somehow. There we go. There you go. And very, very softly just to get the strokes out. Okay. And let's go right into, back into the white. I'm just gonna use the same brush, it's fine. Just gonna tap into it. Just tap into it. And that's all you gotta do. Just tap, tap, tap. Let me put the corner of the brush in. But that's it. You know, you don't really care about here. It's the top, okay? And so just by tapping, it's gonna, it's gonna give you everything you need. Look at that. Just like so. Let's go ahead and tap into some more. Tap into some more. And we'll just just like so. Just like so. 
And I'm not, I'm not doing anything. That's why, that's why I love this technique. It's not, you don't need a lot, a lot of brushes. Just make sure the brushes that you have have natural hair bristles, especially the bigger ones. Your smaller ones, like your, your liner brush and stuff like that, they, they can be synthetic. But these types of brushes, just find ones that are natural hair. You can go to your hardware store. You can go online and find artist brushes, whatever works, okay? And just tap into it. And there you go. And the reason you want the natural bristles is because when you do your blend or you do something like this, if you if you don't have the natural bristles, it's gonna scratch. Okay, so you want nice smooth blends, so you want natural bristles, okay? And then I'm just gonna just crisscross very, very softly, very softly on the bottoms here. Okay? Very, very softly, like so. There we go. Very, very softly. I, I don't want to mess up the, the edges. I kind of like it. And so we'll just go with that. There we go. Let's go ahead and use our palette knife. I'm using the big guy, number 10. I always forget the number. Big one is 10, the small one is five, okay? And let's go ahead and make some Make some mountain color, okay? So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a little bit of this blue. I'll just put it right here. A little bit of the blue, the black. And I always get, every so often I get, I get comments on how I pronounce crimson, crimson okay? I'm pronouncing crimson, crimson, alizarin crimson. I can't really pronounce it too good. So we'll just call it the pink stuff, okay? So we'll grab a little bit of this pink stuff and we'll put that in there as well, okay? And mix it up. All right. And let me clean this knife. And I'm gonna take some of the white here and clean it off. Take some of the white here, I'll just go right here and I'm gonna add some of the dark color to it. Just like that. Let me clean this knife. I'm gonna go ahead and use a flat brush, okay? And I'm gonna go and start, I think I'll start into the light and we'll see what we get. And we'll probably have to darken it or whatever. So let's go ahead and, yeah, I don't like that. Let's go ahead and darken that up. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this for right now. All I'm doing is just doing the outline up here and then just, just going in with it. I'm gonna go ahead and touch in some, some dark. Just like that, okay? And I'm gonna dip over here as well. So we're gonna have to go back and highlight it, so I just want some. Something there. Same thing here, just a little bit here. There we go. Just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take, take some of the white. And I'm just gonna come in and just put some, some highlights. I'm just using the corner of the brush. Yeah, same thing over here. And over 
over here just a little bit more. There we go. Don't worry about that white. I got a little bit on here. It's fine. It's gonna. There we go. And let me go ahead and use. Just go ahead and use this. Uh, Little two inch brush, or yeah, little two inch brush. And I'm just grabbing from here and just lifting, kind of to push everything in. Very, very softly, but it just pushes everything in. And then the X is right here. Just like that. Let me put this down, and I'll go back into my into my flat brush, right back into the dark color, nice and dark here, and let's go ahead and put in a nice strong. Strong mountain here. And what I'm doing right now is I'm scrubbing and pushing that paint in there. Scrubbing, scrubbing it in. Let me grab some, some black, a little bit more of that blue, a little black. Right into the white. We're gonna light this up. We're gonna light this up. Grab yourself a nice roll and just come in. Remember, just touch real softly and just slide yourself on down. And we're gonna go back also with the flat brush. And that's all I'm doing. Just take it. So, you can go one stroke if you like. I like to kind of kind of play with it a little bit. Like so. Let's go ahead and put a, a shadow color. So we'll go ahead and grab this white. I'll just go into this pile right here. Add a little bit more blue into it. Just like so. And we'll come up here and we'll just do the, do the other side. Come in here, right here, and just fill these little gaps for right now. Clean this knife. I'm gonna go back into some white and just. just do something like so. And I'm gonna grab that flat brush. And I'm gonna go into, I'm just gonna go into some, some of the white first. I'm just grabbing a nice, nice old chunk here on here. And I'm just gonna come in and just, just put in some extra textures here and there. Stuff 
like that. It just gives you some extra texture. I don't know if you can see it on your end, but I mean, I got a glob, a glob of paint on there, okay? And maybe a little too much there. And I just come in here and I barely touch. I just find a spot. I barely touch and I can get some extra texture on there. Just wherever you like. Same thing, just up here. It's nice. It's a nice little texture. Now I can do the same with the black too. So I can grab a chunk of black and then come in. I can put like little little stuff. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's there. And I'm just using the flat brush. I mean, it comes out better if you use like more of a detailed brush, but there you go. Just something like so, see? Gives you little rocks and stuff. And if I take a liner brush, I'll dip it just into a little bit of some, some of my white medium here. Come in. Same thing, just with the liner brush. Clean that a little bit. Grab a little bit of my dark. Same thing, you can do, see? You put in all types of ridges and Whatever you like. Just showing you different things that you can do. And I'll just go ahead and grab this and clean up a little bit. It's just a lot faster, as you can see, with this palette on. A lot, lot faster. I'll just come in. Something like so. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my uh, two inch brush, just tap a little bit of the white. I told you then this stuff goes a long, long way. You only have to put just a little, little tap in. You can see how much the white comes out. There you go. There you go. Let's go ahead and, and highlight this a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just use a very, very small, small, small amount and just slight Just slight. There you go. Not much detail, just to know that there's a mountain there. Okay, same thing here. This one's more of just rubbing it. There you go. See, just. There you go. Clean that knife. Okay, let's make some color. Let me get rid of this stuff right here. All right, so we'll take our nice dark color that we were using, and let's go ahead and, and make, some, make some more stuff. So let's grab some of that pink stuff, and we'll grab some of the blue stuff. And we'll grab some of that black stuff. And we're gonna grab some of this green stuff. We got a nice big old pile here and let's go ahead and mix it. I wanna mix it up very good. There we go, clean this. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab, grab this flat brush here. Same thing, flat brush, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and chisel it by wiggling it. And first thing I wanna do is just wanna, you're not gonna be able to see it, but I can. And I just know that that's my land, okay? That's where I want this to be. So we're gonna go ahead and just start making, making some pines. So let's go ahead and do something like so, okay? And a flat brush, you're just gonna come in and just touch and just, and there's your flat brush, okay? That's how you do a flat brush pine tree. And let's go ahead and get one. Like so, same thing, load it up. You're gonna come in and just, I start touching on the side a couple of times and then I start to turn it and then work my way. And I'm going straight on. I'm not turning this way or this way when I'm coming down, I'm straight on with this, okay? And there you go. And that's what you do, okay? And so we're gonna do a whole, Whole row, okay? Let's go ahead and put something right here. And same thing. Touch, touch, and then there you go. And then maybe something like so, straight down. Go. And then same thing. Maybe this one's not so tall. We'll put it right there. Same thing. Touch, touch. And then and same thing. Maybe we'll put that one like that. Touch, touch. And there you go. So you can, I mean, you can use your, a flat brush. You can use whatever brush, really. I mean, you can make pine trees out of a lot of, a lot of different, different brushes. So let's go ahead and do that. Just like so. There you go, something like so. Same thing. Maybe this one's a little small. And we'll have it, and then we'll skip a little bit, and eh, it's not a good spot for that one. That would be better for something maybe over here. Let's go ahead and just do that. There you go, something like so. Touch, touch, leave it open, there you go. Put another guy right here. 
Oops, got a little white on there. Same thing right here. Maybe a small one. And then I'm just, I have some fun. Something like so. Just try to give it some distance. Same thing here. There we go. Just trying to fix some of them. They're a little, a little too flat, so just chisel it out. It makes it look a little bit more, more realistic. Okay, let's go ahead and put in some tree trunks. And I'm gonna take some of this brown, put it there, and I'll grab some of this white. Something, probably like so. Come in. Just like that. Wherever you like. Since we put that nice little spot there, we'll go ahead and do something like so. And I think there was a smaller one right here. Something like that. And then same thing here. And all I'm doing is just touching and slightly pulling to the slide, uh, to the slide, to the uh, side. Touch, slightly pull, touch, slightly pull. And then let me go ahead and grab a, I'll grab a liner brush. Go into a little bit of the white medium. Just lighten some of this up a little bit. And just put some nice old, some lines, make it look like there's uh, some branches there. And you can, you can go like that. Or you can go up, whatever you prefer. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? I love the contrast right there. It's just, I love these night, kind of night paintings. Let's go ahead and use a flat brush again and start highlighting the uh, pine trees. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab this pile right here. Let's put some right there. And I'm going to do a touch, touch of that sap green. And I'm going to go ahead into my medium and just grab a little, little bit. I don't want to overdo it yet. Okay. And so you're going to, going to crunch into it. Okay. Kind of lift up the little side here. I'll start right here, okay? And you're just gonna touch, touch, and then a little bit more. You're barely, barely touching up here, um, here, okay? So it's, see? You're kind of doing like a, uh, a staircase. So walk your, 
just walk your way down, okay? And that's that's how I it's one of the one of the ways you can do with the fly brush. Okay, remember, just touch, touch, and then just start working your way down. Reload. Okay. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit more of that medium. A little bit more of that yellow. Here we go. Crunch into it, then lift up the one side, and then you're just gonna come in. And I'm gonna pro try to apologize if I'm getting in your way. Push into it. Same thing, like a staircase. Like a staircase, okay? And just keep doing it. So it's kind of the same effect if you do it with the uh, fan brush and you just tap it, you know? But it's just a little bit thicker. And if you find yourself pushing it into the canvas, your paint is just not, it's not thin enough, okay? So it's kind of kind of like a staircase. A tap, 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 kind of on an angle down with this one. There you go. Something like so. Just use, I think I'll use my two inch brush here. Go into the same color. Same color. And yeah. Just want to tap in some some stuff right here. Let me go ahead and just use my Palette knife. I'm gonna go into the, some of this brown here. And let's go. 
Fill this in for right now. And we're just having fun. I hope you're staying with me. I know I'm quite boring at this point. But just hang with me. Hang with me. Go ahead and we'll take some of that brown right there, take some of that white. There we go. And I'm just gonna just come on in just like we did the mountains. Grab a little bit more. And I just, just made a mistake right here because I'm holding a paintbrush. And I just, just smeared there. So we'll have to fix that. There you go. Just like that. Grab some more. Okay, let me show you how to make a correction because I got a boo-boo here, I got a smear because uh, as, as I said earlier, I had that brush in my hand and I smeared it. So let's go ahead and just put something in there. We'll, we'll go ahead and fix this, okay? So I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm just using a one inch and I'm gonna just put it down in one angle, just like that. Turn the brush and we'll, we'll just go ahead and put big old bush or something right, right in here, okay? Okay. And let me go ahead into Into this yellow, I'm just gonna grab some of the white medium. Maybe a touch, touch of that yellow ochre in there. Same thing, one motion, one motion, and then turn it, and then just come in. And you'll have a bush. Only problem is it's the same color, so we'll have to we'll have to lighten it up or something. But same thing, just like this, and then turn it, and that's it. And you know what? Let's just put a nice yellow ochre one. Hopefully it's thin enough, we might have to go ahead and thin it out. There we go. Right. Let me go ahead and use this one inch brush I got. Dip it into just a little bit of the white medium. Grab some of that yellow. Just crunching it, crunching it, crunching it. And Grab some more of the white. And I'll go into straight white, into the medium. It's just not light enough. There we go. And I'm just giving it some little flowers or something.
There we go. Now I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just gonna go, I'll just go into this. Tap right into the yellow and tap. And we'll go ahead and put a little bush here. Like so. I'm just using the corner of the brush here. Just a little flowers here or there. Okay, let me put this down. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my small palette knife and some straight black. And I'm just gonna come in. Just Something like so. Here we go. There you go. Clean it up a little bit. Didn't like the way it was looking. Let's go ahead and use our liner brush, go into a little bit of this white medium here. Twist it up. Let's go ahead and put some there we go, some little branches. stuff here there there you go a couple more little little things and I think I want one little one little bush right there. Just go into this dark, dark again. Be a little bit of this black. Same thing. Down. Go into that. There we go. And you see what happened? Is it, it's a, it's a muddy mess. So to clean that, you can take this. Wake it off. back into your stuff we we'll go into straight black make it a little bit darker maybe some blue come in we still have some light color on this but it's okay I'll come in just grab another one inch brush and I'll go into some of the medium, of course. And I think I'll just go with this one. Straight yellow ochre. Come in and with your with your liner brush, let's go ahead. Go ahead and put some into your medium. Excuse me, I'm tired, man. 
ate some really, really good pizza and it's, it's kicking in, I'm telling you. So let's go ahead and just put some, some nice little wines in here. go sorry I'm just looking for the last little little something let's go ahead and just just crunch in here with just a little bit Let me grab a little bit of this touch of that there we go And just want to, there we go. Just break that up a little bit. Maybe right there. Last little spot. Okay, there we go. Let me put this down. I'll grab this liner brush, go right back into the white here. Let me grab a little bit more of this white medium. And let's go ahead and let's get her signed. Remember just the thin just got to thin out the paint. You can use your medium, you can use uh, one of your thinning oils, and your stuff should sign right on, right on over it. Well, with that, we finished out season five. This is the 10th painting, the 50th video. I want to thank you so very much for, for those that have viewed and taken the time to subscribe. I really, really hope you like the channel. Please let people know. I'm really hoping this channel will somehow grow in the future. We'll see, but until next time, until next season, I want to wish you the best. Please take care.